Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the find and replace and filter by form to search based on multiple fields in your forms in your Access databases. Today's question comes from David from Salt Lake City, Utah, one of my silver members. David says, I have multiple fields in my form, part one, part two, and so on up to part 10. And I want to be able to search across all of them. How can I do this in Access? Well, first of all, and yes, I already scolded David about this. You don't want to do that in your tables. You don't want to have part one, part two, part three, part four, etc. You want to make a second related table with a part field and then relate that back to whatever your parent table is. All right, just like we do customers and contacts in our contact database. You don't want to have contact one, contact two, contact three. Okay, so that aside, we've already discussed that in a separate email. That aside, he's already got his database built and he doesn't want to change it. That's okay, that happens. But he wants to do a search for a part number, but he's got to search across 10 different fields. So let me show you a couple of different ways to do that. We can do it with the basic find and replace and we can do it with a filter by form. So here is my Tech Help free template. This is a free download from my website. You can go grab a copy if you want to. You'll find a link down below in the description. Now, finding fields, I think, always works better if you have a continuous form. So I built this customer list in the videos where we built this database. And if you haven't watched this yet, go watch this. All right, it's easier to find stuff if you can see multiple records at a time as opposed to just one record at a time in a single form. Okay, so let's say we're looking for some data. All right, and instead of having 10 part fields, let's say we want to look across first name, last name, and the state field. Okay, and I want to find, let's say, the characters AM together, like here in James. All right, and let's say I've got another one like Mike Hammer down here, so that AM would also show up. All right, and I want to search for that across multiple fields. Well, the easiest way to do that is with a basic find and replace. So, Control F to bring up the find and replace dialog. Type in what you're looking for, AM. Now, in the look in, you want to pick current document. Current document says search all of the fields on this form. Okay, every single field. Match, you want to change to any part of the field. There's the whole field, which means it has to be the whole thing. The start of the field at the beginning or any part of the field. Now, if you got a really big set of records and you got like, uh, like long text and stuff in here, this could take a while to run. All right, but for small data sets, short text, that kind of stuff, even dates, this works just fine. Okay, move this over to the side over here. And then we're going to click Find Next. It'll start at the beginning. There's the first AM. Right, Find Next. There's the next AM. And then that's it. Right, finish searching the records. If we had a state in here that was AM, let's say there's a state AM. All right, Find, Find, Find. See? That's the easiest way to do it. There's another way you could do it too. Actually, there's several different ways to do it, but I'm just going to show you the easy ones first. Another way you could do it is to use filter by form. Now, you can filter stuff all right, one at a time if you want to, but you really can't do or conditions easily with a filter. All right, right click, text filters, right, contains, and then AM. But this is only first name contains, so there's your first name contains AM. All right, well, that's not too much of a help. All right, what if I want to use an or condition? Well, come up top here, pick Advanced, and then Filter by Form. That brings up this thing. Now, look, you'll see the other filter that we put in there is right here. This is why I mentioned earlier, go watch my wildcard search. you got to know how to use wildcard characters to use searching and filtering uh, appropriately. All right, notice it's like and then an asterisk AM, right? That's the contains, right? Anywhere inside that string, I want to see an AM. Okay, now down here in the bottom, you can make some OR tabs. So just copy this. Copy, come down over here, click on that, go to last name, paste, right? Go to the next one, state, paste, okay? And it doesn't really fit these ones. All right, but look, I got that or that or that. Now toggle the filter. Boom, there you go. All right, we got the AM here, the AM there, and yeah, I put it in the same one, but that's okay. All right, see how that works? You can toggle the filter on and off just like that. So that's the two ways, the two easy ways you can do a search across multiple fields, all right? You can also build a query to do it as well and then base a form off the query. That's another way. Ask for a parameter prompt. There's all kinds of things you can do. 
But I know what most people want. You want a single box down here in the footer you can click on, right? Type in AM and then hit search and it applies all that automatically. Well, you can certainly do that with just a couple of lines of VB code and I will show that in the extended cut for the members. All right, here it is. One little box. Type in what you're looking for. AM. Hit the filter button. Boom. There you go. It searches across all three of these fields, or as many as you want, right? There's an AM there, an AM there, and an AM over here in the state field. All right, and that's one little button, one little box, and like four lines of code. It's not that hard to do, and I covered that in the extended cut for the members. Members will learn about the me.filter property, the me.filter on property, and how to build a multiple field where condition in SQL. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos, and gold members can download these templates. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my tech help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.